Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the blatant view grab that is the uh, crapshoot that is going that just went on in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. A wholesome crapshoot, if I may. This is the product of the under of the of the underground coming up come up just like your your man truly youtuber crystal abundance who made this on tier list on tier on tier maker and mbt a more prominent youtuber found it and did it without realizing what he had done which would but he gave all credit and now she's getting subscribes and likes at the wazoo as she deserves i will say i've seen both videos and in my personal opinion uh, crystal abundance if you would like to come on to the high soapbox and talk about yukio for an hour please feel free to hit me up at the links down below i would love to have you because none of my friends want to talk about Oh because i play should all gravekeepers and mystic mine for shits and giggles and they hate me so <laughs> moving on in the spirit in the spirit of 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 blunders and love i decided to throw my own hat into the ring so to speak and we have today the kissability of Yu-Gi-Oh! Heroes, <laughs> which to me is a novel concept. And since I don't acknowledge cards made outside of GX, including the good ones, the everything past Elemental Hero Ocean on is being ignored. Not to say I don't respect Sh like what Shadow Mist, Stratos, Malicious Bane, any of the any of the mass change heroes have done to the archetype's playability i just don't care anywho moving on so just like with everybody else they start with sparkman but i want to start with someone a little better i want to start with clayman so while some have put him in the s tier some have put him in the c tier uh, some have put, like like or the d tier i will say I'm putting him in the S tier. Why? Because thick thighs save lives, my friend. And it does not and, and nothing is better than kissing somebody who just is, who just hugs you like a pillow, and it's fucking fantastic. Next up is Beatrix, and I will and and while and while quite beautiful, I'm going to have to put her at at a C. Just for personal reasons. M mind you, I'm kind of tired of dating white women. Anywho. Next up, I want to talk about Avion. Very, very vanilla, kind of basic. Probably the type of guy who, who if you would ask you to tone down your uh, more goth, would want the type of person who wants a big titty goth girlfriend, but ends up asking them to tone it down around their parents. So I'm gonna put him at a D. Now, Flame Wing Man, on the other hand, is a solid B, because they they, they embody the 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 safety of, of of a warm relationship with just enough kink to to make things interesting. So, when you're kissing them, it make it, it you you feel a level of danger, but you also feel safe. Next up is Bubble Man. Man, I'm gonna put him at a B two. Cer certainly really goes into it but can be a little bit too slobbery at times but endearing nonetheless next up is neos who is i think an a just because while he's more muscular he still has like that um gri grip to him that certainly makes that feel much much better uh i think i'm going to inc i think i'll uh, i might very well include um, honest Neos, because it's technically still Neos, but he's a little soft. I will say he's probably a B because he's a little softer, not as experienced, a little more reserved, but still has all the benefits, so I'll put him in a B. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? I think just for the sake of uh, a little bit of length, just because it's been around for so long, I will say Destiny Hero Malicious. I'm going to put him at where should i yeah you know what i'm probably gonna have to put malicious bane at malicious down at d simply for the fact too many protruding things and that tail is just gonna get in the way it's not fun he's got fangs it's, i don't like it 
And finally, I want let's bring up Spark Man. Spark Man. See, he certainly ha he cer he certainly has he certainly has the um, excitement that comes. I mean, you're embodying electricity, but I feel like he's more into his hobbies than he would be into me. So I think I'm probably gonna have to put him a C down here with Beatrix. Um, So yeah, I think I think that's kind of where we're going to we're going to go with things. Um, I'll do a few more. I'll, I'll break my own rule at the beginning of this video. Um, Stratos, Stratos, I'm gonna put him at a C because because he he, he I feel like I feel like his he, he'd be very dry if you catch my drift. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna I would probably put Shadow Mist up here at, to an A simply for the fact that she's um affirmated big titty goth girlfriend she is best girl of course and lastly i think i'm going to do absolute zero who is also going to be d because nobody likes making out with somebody whose body temperature is the same as the arctic but i will say i'll give uh, elemental hero rising sun an a, a a s tier for the same reasons that absolute for the opposite reasons absolute zero is garbage big thick and warm like a pillow and just it's just something you can get lost you can just get lost in the love that's kind of it for this this was just more of a shit poster type of thing i thought did for shits and giggles more to you know the algorithm gives and giveth and taketh away but to um anybody watching this thank you so much for watching hi me uh this has been high media my name is evan haggard and um again crystal abundance if you do have the pleasure of seeing this I implore you, please reach out to me at any of the social media you see below, including Twitter, and I would love to have you on and talk about why GX is the best um, Yu-Gi-Oh series, and I'm in better than Duel Monsters. I will die on this hell. Anywho, this has been High Media Headlines. Thank you so much for listening. For Damn podcast thing has got me going. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.